You cannot stop me, I'ma make it to the top spot, see Call a covenant, not cocky You cannot break me, this world's mine for the taking Got a niche, man, I'm making, oh I'll keep my head down and grind and be patient I'll take a stab at the top and the sailing They can all try, but you cannot contain it Cause I see the things that I want and I take on my goal Push myself to the brink, no limit Do what it takes to be free, committed I'm a little obsessed with things, I'll admit it But that's what it takes to get a freedom ticket Got a killer instinct and it's just the beginning Breaking down walls and the hurt start thinning And the more you push, you the fast start trimming Till you're the only one standing up straight, winning all No, we never sit still it's time to stand up, time to take the red pill To make this our world, gonna die on this hill Be ready to fight and be ready to kill We never give up, no we never sit still It's time to stand up, time to take the red pill To make this our world, gonna die on this hill Be ready to fight and be ready to kill The new truck. This has been a truck that you guys have been requesting for the longest time. I see it in the comments and I've been trying to find one. It's taken five years. Yes, five years to find this exact configuration in a 98. I've had a 12 valve with actually two. My wife bought one that she gave away. It was a 98 12 valve automatic with a built trans, short bed, folding doors, quad cab truck, beautiful truck back when you could get them for like. 10,000 bucks. It was a wonderful thing back in the day, which was just like three years ago. But now things have changed. These are really, really hard to find and they're very expensive now. Anybody that knows anything about the 12 valves, especially the 98 quad cab 12 valves, they are super hard to find and super expensive if you don't want any rust. So a little backstory on this truck. I actually had a set of wheels for sale that were actually on my wife's truck at the time. They were a set of 24 by 14 Archon off-roads with some 35 by 15 and a half Fury tires. You know, it looked really cool. Truck kind of rode like crap. And I don't know if it was because of the giant wheels or if it was just because of the tires or whatever. But she had had 14 wides before and she, they never rode that bad. And they were supposedly balanced as good as they could get them and everything. Always just sucked. Like tons of vibration, wobbling all over the place. Like it just rode like crap. So we ended up going with some Anthems and some 35 by 12 and a half to kind of make the track of the tire a little bit smaller and whatever. Long story short, the wheels that were for sale, the guy that owned this truck in Fort Wayne, Indiana had driven by to see the wheels and he was you know, interested in buying them because he said that he might lift the truck and put them on and whatever else. And I was like, dude, I'm like, don't do that to this truck. And he's like, yeah, I mean, I'm going back and forth, you know, and I'm like, don't, don't do it to this truck. Like, this truck is so clean. I'm like, forget the wheels. I'm like, I will buy it the way that it sits. And he's like, no, nah, I don't want to sell it. You know, I've had the truck for a while. It's really hard to find them like this. I redid all the paint, sandblasted the frame. I'm like crawling around under this thing. Keep in mind, it's not for sale, but I couldn't help myself. I'm like, dude, I will buy it right now. We'll go inside, grab you some cash. He's like, I'm not selling it, dude. I'm like, okay. And I'm like, 10,000. Just, seeing what, just to see what he'd say. Always oh, start a little low, you know what I mean? And he's like, ah, I'd have to think about that. I said, 15. He's like, okay, now you've got me interested. And long story short, it didn't end up getting let go for 15, but after 14 months of messaging him, once or twice every single month, hey, wanna sell the truck? Wanna sell the truck? Wanna sell the truck? He eventually gave in. Here we are. The truck, for the most part, is essentially bone stock. I've already mentioned it. 98, short bed, quad cab, five-speed manual. So the truck does have the five-speed quad cab doors. So hard to find this configuration. The only thing is that he really did to it in terms of like upgrades, he did put on some like fourth-gen style mirrors. He put in a fourth-gen bumper, new headlights, 
a chrome sport second gen grill and then the whole truck he said they repainted it five years ago it looks really good but they repainted the entire truck they left it on stock wheels and tires stock suspension suspension has not been touched in terms of leveling or lifting new tail lights with the paint match to bezel the paint match on this is actually actually they did a really good job him and his cousin i think he said they did the whole thing themselves looks really good smoked rear light as well in the cab uh, so the truck looks good. It's a very simple, well put together truck, but in terms of engine and transmission, I believe it's still rocking like a stock style clutch, but the clutch feels really good. But I'm pretty sure it just feels really good because the truck is stock power still, so it's not making a ton of power. So for the clutch that's in it, which is probably just like an OEM replacement, it feels really good on this truck because it's still running stock power. As far as I know, I drove it three hours the other day home and nothing about it was like, oh, this is high performance. It felt like a stock 12 hour. But I'm okay with that because it's really, really hard to find them completely stock and not touched. Sandblasted the frame, completely repainted everything, and it looks really good. If you take a look at it there, no rust, there's a couple rock chips. I mean, it was painted five years ago. In five years, you're gonna get a couple rock chips, even on stock tires, really in really good shape and he said that's one of the biggest things that he liked about the truck when he found it originally down in texas is he's like there was no rust on the truck and it was really hard to find anything up in indiana that didn't have some kind of rust either starting or that had already been replaced and it was all botched up like he's like we went down got the truck brought it back and repainted it he's like it looks amazing and other than sandblasting the frame repainting it and the truck and repainting it that's all they really did to it in terms of redoing stuff on the truck otherwise these are all still the original rocker panels cap corners all that stuff so everything's nice and sleek it looks to be in really good shape gasket leak it sounds like which is an easy fix you just gotta pull it off and then put new gaskets on and then properly tighten them all in an order and then usually that solves it pretty easy but we're just gonna take it for a little spin around the block here because I mean why wouldn't we it's five-speed Carhartt edition Silverado nobody really likes those anyways
like your dad had that six-speed Cummins, which is really cool, low mileage. You guys have seen it on the videos if you've been watching a while. They just drive so different. I feel like this is one of the most forgiving and easiest to drive manuals in a truck that I've driven. I mean, it's it's a lot of fun. Like, it's a really hard to stall transmission in the way that it is configured. Like, it's, it's perfect. I remember my first time filming a video with my first five-speed dually, and I would ride the clutch, and I was shifting, like, really fast and, like, jerking the gears in and out, you know? And all these guys that, like, love these five speeds are like, dude, like, you know, you're riding the clutch too aggressive, like, you're going to wear it out, like, you're being way too hard on the freaking uh, shifter, like, you know, just be smooth with the gears, don't, don't be so hard on it. And I've learned a lot on how to drive these things a little bit bit better they're, they're not hard to drive but you know you can't wear some stuff out by doing it the wrong way I guess introduction to this truck. We do have a set of wheels on the way. Tires are already here. I'm not going to show you yet, but the wheels are on the way. I took your guys' votes on Instagram. If you pay attention to the polls and the votes that I take on my story, I got what you guys voted for. I got the one with the most votes, and that's the route that we went. If you paid attention, cool, you know what we went with. If not, stay tuned. In the next video, you will see that. They're not here though yet. The tires are, but the wheels aren't. As soon as I get them in, we're going to be slapping them on this thing and it's going to look pretty sick. Hey, it's a wheel and tire setup that we have never done before. You've never seen a set of these in this size and everything on a truck on our channel. And also, you've never seen this, well, we've never done them before, but you've definitely never seen them on one of these trucks on our channel. Yeah, I'll just leave, I'll leave it at that. It's going to look pretty cool though. And if you look at this truck, look at my wife's truck. Same paint color. PR4, PR4, pretty cool. So I'm kind of debating what I want to do with the direction of this truck because I, I, re, I just, I really like the way that it is. That's the problem with some of these trucks. You, you buy them and you like the way they look and that's why you buy them and then you're like, dang, do I really want to change a whole lot about it? I don't know. Because some of you guys like the stuff that we do, but some of you guys would rather us not do much to it and win it the way that it is and do it up however you want. But we'll make those decisions final once we get the wheel and tire set up on this thing because that's going to change the look of it a lot. And it'll also change some of the opinions you guys have about this truck in terms of what all you would want done to it. So good luck, guys, to everybody that enters. You can actually pre-enter for this right now. If you are subscribed to our monthly mystery boxes, you're already entered for the truck, which is super cool. So thank you guys so much to everybody that are subscribed to those. You got it early. You can actually pre-enter right now by using this code. I'm going to leave on the screen. If you use that code at checkout, not a mystery box subscriber, you can buy anything on the website and use this code and get pre-entered right now. And then everybody that pre-enters, those entries will be submitted on the launch date, which is September 23rd. So Friday, September 23rd is the official launch date to where no code required, anything you buy on the site is going to get you under the truck until it ends, which is going to end on October 23rd. So this giveaway is literally only 30 days long. It's one of the shortest that we've done in quite a long time. So it's going to be short, sweet, better chances for you guys getting in because there's not as much time to get entered. But yeah, pre-entry is live. Use the code, get entered. If you're already subscribed to Mystery Box, congrats, you're in. Yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next video.
Peace.